early on, you played some major minutes guarding Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, and you know they had relatively quiet nights for their standards. What was the key to kind of keeping them uh, it, it, within kind of control? And and what did you know? What are you thinking when you're battling those guys? I mean, they are both great players, so we were trying to force them to take tough shots. Rudy was there every single time when they when they have blow by us or or or, or had a straight line drive so great great team defense overall on, on, on these two guys but we know how how good they are and they're going to be extra aggressive next game uh, maria vidal tab deportes hi boy and first of all congrats for the win what are the key aspects that you can take away from this first game against the clippers i mean just our defense even we started the game shooting the ball pretty pretty bad especially from uh, from three point line but uh we kept guarding crowd was really really behind us they they pushed us when 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 we were we were down 13 or or even even more so so i, I think that our our defense it's, it's it's the key in this in this series and anderson kessel sports.com okay we don't see it a lot from you you hit a lot of kind of a uh, uh spot up threes, but you dribbled into a big three late in the fourth quarter there. What what did you see going into that play and, and taking that shot? I mean they were trying to 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 blitz blitz Donovan kind of kind of double team him especially in the last last couple of minutes on, a, on on the game and then I had a I had a canard on me and shot clock was was running down so I needed to take that one. It was it was big one and and and, and but like I said Donovan was the, the guy that really bring all attention and, and, and then the, the other guys. We had a a lot of wide open shots, but like I said, we didn't play for the for a couple of days. So maybe maybe that get us tired beginning of the game or, 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 or we didn't have a we didn't have enough enough confidence hitting those shots. But but like I said again, our defense was was great, especially especially second half. Eric Walden, Salt Lake Tribune. Hey, Boyan. Speaking of Donovan, obviously um, he had a pretty incredible second half, uh, especially the way he came out and started that third quarter with 10 straight points. What did you see from him and, and kind of how is he able to go on, you know, scoring streaks like that and, and kind of have the ability to take over games in that fashion? I mean, he's, he's just amazing, amazing person. He's a great player. He saw that we are down. Down fell of 13 on half time, so so probably he thought I gotta I gotta take over the game. I gotta be extra aggressive in a in, a, in especially in third quarter. So he he got us back in a in a game, and 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 then all all the energy or the crowd he gave us energy to the players. And and, and like I said, I mean it's just just amazing amazing performance from from him. Christo Soto, Sports DNA. Hey Boyan. We saw that you had a great connection with the fans. So how contagious was the passion of the fans in the stands to you on the floor? I mean, it's, it was probably the loudest, the loudest crowd that I played in front here in, uh, in NBA. Even when, when we were down, they were, they were kind of cheering and, and pushing us and, and gave us extra, extra energy to get back in the game and then when we start to, to hit those shots especially especially Donovan the I mean the the arena was 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 really amazing and really loud so right uh Jacoby De Francesco around the game <clears throat> you're on mute Jacoby uh we'll move on to Maxime the free agent um, when, when you made uh, the, the key three point and uh, you you have to to keep focus all along the night so how how hard is it to to stay focused all along the the game and to have the key shot i mean those those trees are giving us extra energy defensively because like i say we we, we, we couldn't Buy a three in a, in a, in the first first quarter. So when we start to hit the shots, when Donovan got hot, it gave us energy also defensively to guard better and, and kind of communicate better. We were we were all in. 
Cassidy Hubbard, ESPN. Hey, Maureen, you've been talking a lot about how Donovan's play um, kind of got you guys going, but in, in the game broadcast, we were able to see him mic'd up and uh, talking to the team. Uh, how would you describe his vocal leadership um, on this team this season? I mean, it's just amazing how how mature he become this season. He's really reading the game great first half. I mean, he had a quiet first half, but especially because we couldn't hit a shot. So he was trying to probably involve all on us in a game. But uh, but like I said, we were missing the shots. And then a third quarter and fourth quarter, he, he took the game over and he were he was more more aggressive, so it's just just amazing his his leadership and and, and, and the energy that he's he's bringing to the to the table and and, and kind of giving to our, all of us. All right, last question. We'll go back to Jacopo. Hi, sorry about that. Hi, Boyan. And um, which one, in your opinion, is the biggest adjustment that you guys made individually and as a team that allowed you not to suffer from uh, Conley absence? I mean, we had a lot of games that we missed Donovan and, and, and Mike, so we are kind of, I cannot say used to it because it's this different story right now in, in the playoffs and, and, and we really miss him because he's primary ball handler, but uh, they play small ball, so we, we kind of, we try to adjust on, on, on the way how they play, how, how they're going to attack us. So, so great, great first game. We cannot get a too high or too low. Second game is in two days. We got to watch the film and, and, and prepare, prepare for next game.